When you hear this sound, turn the page. Ta'awayye at kundiyech. Ta'awayye at kundiyech. This is how things came about. This is how it comes about. Way, way back, long ago, there was Yeh, raven, and Chot, halibut. They were opposites. Yeh was pitch black and Chot was pure white. Yeh flew in the sky and Chot swam in the ocean. Chot was lonely. He wanted a friend. He wanted to play. Chot would beg and pester Yeh, play with me, play with me. Finally, Yeh agreed to play hide and seek. He thought it would be easy. You go and hide. I will count, Yeh said. Chot hurried away, excited. Yeh counted. Tech, dech, nutsk, dachun, kejin, kledushu, dachadushu, nutsk dushu, kushuk, jinkat. Uh oh, his eyes began to droop, counting made Yeh tired, and soon he fell asleep. Meanwhile, Chot looked and looked for a place to hide. Huge and bright white, he stood out. Finally, he found a hiding spot. Chot hid in a seaweed bed at the bottom of the ocean. After his nap, Yeh searched, but did not see Chot. He still felt quite lazy, so he decided to trick a friend into helping him look. Yeh dove into the sea in search of Teek, dog salmon. When Teek saw a big black raven at the bottom of the sea, she knew that Yeh was up to something and would probably ask for help. Will you help me find Chot? Yeh asked. Only if you trade me a favor, said Teek. Fisher people are headed this way, said Yeh. I can snip their lines if you can find my friend. Okay, said Teek, and she went to search for Chot. Days passed. Khun yagitza shuachich. But do you think Teek found chat egg no yeh did not like to lose he decided to ask na octopus for help yeh found na guarding her beautiful eggs yeh begged and pleaded but na would not leave her nest I can guard your eggs, Yeh offered. Should Nock trust Yeh to guard her eggs? Egg! No way! Yeh gave up and decided to ask Egg, King Crab. I could help, said Egg, but I want something too. How about a beautiful shell to live in? One, like my friend Nutsak, Hermit Crab's new house. If you find Chot, I will find you a beautiful shell, promised Yeh. But no halibut, no home. Chot yaidlagi, kleh yidneh ye kukosti, said Yeh. Do you think Ech will get a shell like Nutsaog? Egg, no. Yeh took off again and soon met Toots, salmon shark. Toots, I lost Chot playing hide and seek. 
Will you join the search party? Okay, said Toots. Why don't we invite Ton, Sea Lion, along too? So off they went. Yeh, Teet, Kheh, Toots, and Ton all searched for Chot. Chot was so happy. Everyone was playing with him. He watched them swim about above him, near him, around him, and he laughed quietly. But as hard as the creatures looked, they could not find Chot. Finally, Yeh went to some Askew, fisher people. Have you seen Chot today? He's huge and bright white. That sounds easy to find, said the Askewu. But we haven't seen him. Then Yeh spoke to his friends. Chot won this game. We should stop looking and go home. Chot is certainly gone. The creatures agreed. Yes, Chot is gone. Let's go home. But Chot wasn't gone. Where was he? Still in the seaweed. As he lay hidden, the sand covered his white skin. More and more stuck to him. Soon, part of him became the color of the sand, while the seaweed bed stained his white belly. And this is how Chalk became camouflaged. After that, Chalk could hide all the time he did not feel lonely because he was always playing. He liked his hiding spot so much, he came to live at the bottom of the sea. This will be enough for now. Ye ayak kak kake hayuk atungi.